What's up guys? Welcome to the Hit The Road vlog. And in today's episode, I'm teaching you how to drive in Madeira. So, this is one of my favorite secret roads, right? We're in Santa Cruz. This road goes up to Santo Antonio de Serra on the southeast side of Madeira. And this kind of road is kind of a typical road for locals. We've seen many locals coming up and down already. But every time I bring tourists up here, they freak out and they go, oh my God, wow, what a crazy road. So we got to be careful where we take you. And of course, I'm here to tell you um, my best tips on where you can drive, how you can drive and what to not do and to do when you're driving in Madeira. drive on the right hand side of the road and we're in the left hand side of the car and for some people that can get a little bit confusing right especially when you're kind of on autopilot and you're not really thinking about where you're going you could very easily get into the wrong side of the road uh, well when you get into the wrong side of the car it's not that it's just embarrassing you know but when you're on the wrong side of the road it's actually dangerous so if you're not used to driving on the other side of the road I don't suggest it right also obviously if you're not driving at least three times a week at home you know let's say you live in London or something and you never drive a car and then you come to Madeira and you think you want to drive a car for a whole week wouldn't suggest it but then again these are my thoughts don't take me literally <laughs> because this is just what I think. If it looks kind of crazy, then you should probably turn around, right? There are roads in Madeira that look like this, right? Crazy roads with big drops and kinds of things. You don't want to get yourself stuck on one of these roads. So if you're driving up a road and it looks like it's getting a little bit too inclined or it's a little bit too narrow, you might want to stop, take a breath in and turn around and head back. Also, check with your airbnb host if you're staying in an airbnb because there are houses on these ends of these roads right so if you're staying in an airbnb you could be staying on a road that you need to drive up a crazy little path like this maybe not quite as crazy as this one but something similar so check with your host and um yeah you know you don't want to get yourself in a bad situation actually some really great roads you can drive in Madeira open for anybody really right anybody who knows how to drive um, you've got the new tunnels the new highways there's the new expressways all around the island there's even some touristic roads um, that you can go and discover and see the sites I'm gonna link everything in our blog post where you can drive so if you want more information you can go and look there also relax take your time right when you're driving around Obviously, you don't want to piss off the locals, but at the same time, we're used to having tourists around, so we can always identify you guys and we know what's going on. So really, don't worry about, you know, how you're driving or things like that. Take it easy, take your time. We're all doing the same kind of thing. So we're having a small break from filming the vlog. We're at the small house in Ponte do Sol. This place is uh, pretty cool. It's got uh, loads of uh, specialty beers and we're going to try the wraps. Uh, looks delicious, we're starving, so um, yeah, when you're in Ponto do Sol, come and check out the small house. So 
one of the things you want to do is you want to take in mind what the reason is for actually renting your car in Madeira. If you're staying in Funchal, it might not even be worth it to actually rent a car if you're only going to go out once or twice, right? If you're staying in Funchal, you've got everything around you. You don't need a car to get to your accommodation or to your hotel or anything like that. So you might be better off taking one or two tours or even three or four tours if you're staying for longer and not rent a car in Funchal. If you're staying out of Funchal, you can still get away with the south coast being the more populated coastline of Madeira and of course there's still access to buses, taxis and all these kinds of uh, transportation services. If you're heading out to the north side of the island, if you're going to Santana, Porto Moniz, San Vicente, these kinds of places you might want to rent a car just because transport there is difficult. No tour companies will pick you up from that side, at least not group tours. Private tours like us will come and pick you up but I'm not sure about the others. So if you're staying in the north, if you're staying in a place far away, an isolated kind of place, even Keleta on the southwest, you might want to actually rent a car. But if you're staying in Funchal, you don't really have to. So this is the old pier of Ponto do Sol. It's over 200 years old, this pier, and it was used to transport uh, goods to Funchal, sugarcane, uh, grapes, that kind of stuff, even people as well. Um, I've heard that most of the people used to come over from Seychelles, from the north coast, they used to hike up over, then they would take the boat from here to Funchal uh, to get into town easier. So now it's basically just a bathing spot, a fishing spot, and it's particularly beautiful at sunset. Um, obviously, we haven't had the opportunity to have any sunsets now because of the curfew in place, but real soon we'll be able to do that. So now, uh, what I want to do for you guys is I want to answer the most important thing that I see tourists doing wrong when driving in Madeira. So come with me, I'm going to teach you guys something. Traffic circles, the one thing all of you guys do wrong. So this is gonna be the most complicated traffic circle you'll see in Madeira. Two lanes, one inner and one outer. When going into the outer lane of the traffic circle, you have to exit at the first exit. When exiting at any other exit, you have to take the inner lane first and leave through the outer. Very often we see tourists on the outer lane going around the entire traffic circle only to get out on the third exit, as demonstrated by our Jeep now. Right guys, that's the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember that this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not some kind of legal uh, advisor on the laws of driving in Europe and in Portugal so if you can get yourself a European license or an international license or whatever you need to actually drive in Madeira and come out here and enjoy our beautiful roads and our beautiful scenery then go ahead and come ahead and do it but in case you want to be a little bit more adventurous and you want to go on some of the roads we showed you earlier uh, then feel free to hook me up or of course any other guide who is also looking for work right now on our website, we're giving away 21% off uh, throughout the whole of 2021, uh, kind of as a way to, to get through this crisis, so to speak. I think that the summer is gonna be great, so uh, get in now while you still can. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. We've got absolutely awesome videos coming up for you guys, showing you the absolute best of Madeira, some tips, some tricks, some beautiful locations. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see i'd love to hear from you guys um, and thank you to everybody who's stuck around and watched i will see you guys next time let's hit the road